Well, hello everyone. I've been enjoying the sawmill, and now it's time to start sharpening a couple of blades that I have. And I went ahead and ordered the tooth setter from Woodland Mills. This will cover all of the blades that they offer, and I bought this box of blades when I purchased my sawmill. And we're going to dig this thing out of the box, but what this device will do for us is put our blade back in set. And so we will be getting optimal performance when we're sawing through the material and will actually make sawing the material smoother. Let's take a look and see what's inside the box and then we'll figure out if we can make it work or not. Well, they've definitely got it packed in there well. Okay, and our instruction manual. Okay, and that's our setter. Now it does say on their website there's very little assembly for this. So all I'm seeing is a couple of tools it looks like we need to make some adjustments with. They have a really good illustration here. Let me bring that up and make sure the camera can grab that. So we have our rake tooth, which is straight up and down. We have our offset up and offset down, or left and right it will repeat that tooth pattern all the way through the length of the blade. So what this device will do is allow us to get that bend set back into our up or left and down or right tooth there. I like these guys' illustrations as well as the way they pack things. Um, again, you've seen the crate that this was in. So they do a good job there of taking care of as much of this as they can for us. Now the only thing we had to install here guys, they have one nut in the bag to put our handle on. And that was a 10 millimeter and they did give us the wrench for it. And I've got that on there pretty snug and I did have to hold the back side here with a pair of pliers because that's on a pin that comes through and allows this thing to rotate for us pretty easily. So that's the only part of the installation. Now the rest of it will be a, adjusting to what blade we're going to put in here. I think I'm going to mount this down to a piece of plywood. That way I can set it down on the table as I need to set blades. And then when I don't need it, I can store this and keep it from getting covered up with other stuff. Made a couple of holes back here to countersink these guys. That way we're sitting nice and flush. Well, it's really raining out there now, guys. Now, they did not provide the mounting hardware I'm using here. Uh, they kind of consider everybody's got their own workbench and the way they want to mount this thing in. So, all right, guys, I think I've got everything calibrated the way I need it. Now, in our tool packet, they sent a calibration plate. We're going to slide this in between the anvil. and our indicator dial there and that should read zero for us and if it doesn't zero your scale and now you're ready to go so we can take our calibration plate out and set it aside now at this point you need to find the weld seam on the blade itself and start there uh, 
on this particular blade, the weld seam happened to be where the tooth was straight up. So I started on that and I'm going to set everything that will be to the inside of the blade first. So we're going to get this guy on here to the inside and lift him up enough to where it gets across the blade. Okay, and once we have it installed on both bolts here, it should rest freely. Now we just laid our blade inside the two slots that's on the end of it. And I have set my slider up here to where it's just resting on the back side of the tooth here. And now we are setting right at the edge of the tooth. And we're going to squeeze our handles together. And we're going to go a little bit over where we need to go. I'm going to take this up to actually about 46 and a half, 47 and that is 0 .047 by the way and bring that back let most of the pressure off of it and then I should be able to push that in to the indicator there and I want a reading of 0 .021 and no more than 0 .022 that's at point zero twenty, so I need to go just a little bit more. And now that I have two teeth that is set, I can now just go ahead and go all the way through this. And that should give me a perfect set on the left hand teeth. And it's nice to know that you can put these things right back to where they came to you from the factory. Now, I have been squeezing this into the anvil and checking. Uh, this tooth is currently setting at point zero ten. Now we're going to bend it. And again, we're over bending and bringing it back a little bit. And now I'm at 0 0.021. That's perfect. And when you get your kerf set like this, your blade is going to be doing absolutely all it can do, and your material is going to look better for it. 0 0.021, perfect. So we've definitely got all the way around the blade, guys. Okay, going to reset this guy. Just by moving it to the outside. Line it back over. Make sure that we're setting on our right hand tooth now, the one that's kicking out to the right here. And then we're going to start over. This tooth is setting at 0 0.014. Now when we flatten it back out, we are at 0 0.021. Good. So we can 
speed this up a little bit. Actually, it's pretty fast, guys. So there we have it. The Woodland Mills tooth setter and everything that you need to know about setting this up for your blades is in the manual and very thorough. They, they covered everything to get you set up and running here. And uh, it's, it's nice to be able to get this stuff back to where it needs to be so it functions better on the saw. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I really hope some of this information helps you. If you have a custom setting that you use, leave it in the comments for us. I'd love to hear it. And this is the first time I've had to set a blade. So I'm looking forward to seeing how this is going to work on the mill for me. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll talk to you on the next one.